we're going to be using a component method, which is when you should re or realize that if you have an object such as this engine, which is not moving, then all of the forces to the right must be the same as all of the forces to the left. If that was not true, then the object would either move left or it would move right. You also need to realize that the, all the forces going up must be the same as all the forces going down. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to simplify the sketch. So the engine, I'm going to make that a little dot. Then I know that there's a force going to the right, which is the rope. Gravity is acting down, that will be weight. And then the chain is trying to pull it upwards like that. And then I know that this angle is 30 degrees, which is this angle here. So if I have to use alternating angles like this, then I should realize that this little angle inside here is 30 degrees. And there we go. So by doing that, it just makes the question a little bit easier to understand. So let's look in the left and right direction. So we'll call that fx. And let's say uh, going to the right is positive. Or we can actually just say that the rope, so the force of the rope, because that's going to the right, must be the same as the force of the chain going to the left. Now you see here guys, we've got the force of the chain at an angle. So if we make a little triangle like that, for example, then we can use trigonometry to help us work out the horizontal component. Now the horizontal component is this one over here. Of course, if you wanted to, you could also use a triangle like that. It doesn't really matter. And so now we're going to use Sokotoa. And so to find x, and this is 20, because that's the chain, they told us that that's 20. So x is the opposite, the 20 is the hypotenuse, that'll be sin. So we can say that sin 30 equals to x over 20. And if you get x alone, we would find that that is going to be equal to 20 sin 30. And if you had to go work that out, that would be 10. So the horizontal force of the chain is 10 newtons. So the rope must be equal to 10 newtons. Great, now we need to look in the vertical direction. So we'll call that Fy. Okay, so what we can say is that all the vertical, all the forces going up must be equal to all the forces going down. So what forces are going up? Well, you can see that the chain, which is this 20 newton, is going up in a, it's also going a little bit to the left. So we need to work out the vertical component. So we can make our triangle once again, and this can be y and this can be x. Now we just use Sokotoa once again, and we'll see that y is the adjacent, and the 20 is the hypotenuse, and so that'll be cos. So we can say that cos 30 is equal to y over 20. And then you can get the y alone by saying 20 cos 30, and so y will be equal to 17.32 newtons. So have a look at that guys. The chain has a vertical force of 17.32 acting upwards and so the weight which is acting downwards would have to be the same. So the weight is going to be the same as the vertical component of the chain which is 17.32 newtons. And we can say down over here and we should have said right over here. Why didn't I use the rope in the vertical? Well, because that rope is not vertical at all. It only acts horizontally. So guys, that is number 12 complete. What you need to understand is that when an object is not moving, then all of the forces going to the left must be the same as the forces going to the right, and all of the forces going up must be the same as all of the forces going down.